Horizon Zero Dawn, developed by Guerrilla Games, is one of the richest experiences I've ever had playing a video game. Uh, it is full of so many stuff, to, so much stuff to do, so many things, and the gameplay is just flawless. The story is so captivating, as well as the setting, which I think is one of the most original ideas I've ever seen in a video game or movie. So Horizon Zero Dawn is set uh, thousands of years into the future, where humanity has basically gone extinct and reborn again. So. Um, you see pieces of the ancient civilization, which is actually, you know, modern day Earth, or actually a futuristic Earth. And uh, like after that, after a catas catastrophic event, um, you know, it just resets itself and it resets into like the medieval ages. And also like uh, there's a lot of tribes going around, which is kind of like back to the Stone Age. And I think this concept is so original, so amazing because it, it, it is actually... It's, it gives place to a lot of different new stories that you can explore uh, as the main character, which her name is Aloy, and she is like one of the most awesome characters I've seen ever, like protagonists of any video game or movie. Um, she is super awesome, like super interesting. I think Aloy is a great character with, with a lot of potential. And I think uh, like her story is so amazing and cool. And honestly, I thought like during the first few hours of the game that this was going to like the story was not going to be as great. But over time, like there's it just kind of like shapes itself into such so many great, you know, paths and things to discover, especially discovering things about the old world were some of my favorite things because there's it was so interesting to see like how everything started, like um, like how the company that developed the machine started, you know, growing and expanding and then basically causing the end of the world. And this was like some of the most interesting stuff in the game is just finding like all these bits of information that, you know, tell you these amazing stories and, uh, you know, things that happened in order to get like shape the world into what it was then. So Horizon Zero Dawn starts with Aloy basically on a mission to discover her origins, like her mother, and basically try to find herself in this amazing world. Because she's an outcast and, you know, she belongs to a tribe called the Nora. Uh, you know, it's like, so basically she, nobody likes her in the beginning. And as she starts prog progressing through the story, um, discovers secrets that, uh, related to her origin and the origin of the machines, uh, how the world changed and shape, was shaped into what it was in that moment. And she, from now on, I'm going to probably go into spoilers a little bit. So if you want, if you want to play the game and don't get it spoiled, uh, stop watching. Um so she starts like looking for her mother and she finds uh, a doctor named Elizabeth Sobek, which which is part of the old ones. And she discovers that she's actually a clone of her. And the story gets really get, goes into some really interesting places. And while this all this is happening, there's like a cult of secret, like a uh, really evil people who do some like a lot of bad things and uh, basically want to cause the end of the world again. So while you're, you're discovering like the origins of everything, which I thought was basically uh, the most interesting aspect of the game, you start like battling this cult and discovering why um, they are doing what they're doing. And, you know, the game has a lot of interesting stuff. It has a lot of uh, really great characters. Um, Aloy and um, Rost, her, her mentor in the beginning, which are like some of the best characters. Uh, also Silence, which you meet later in the game. But also like... Those are the like the, the best characters out of the you know the present day, which is basically the after like the years after everything happened, and also like all the old uh, characters are pretty interesting too. Like uh, Elizabeth Sobek is super interesting. Um, uh, Ted Farrow, which is the CEO of the industry that caused the end of the world as well as the machines. But other than th those characters, I thought like most of the guys you meet on the quests, like on the side quests and everything. They're not as interesting. Like honestly, they're all pretty forgettable. That's uh, like probably my biggest issue with the game, is that most of the side characters that you go on quest with are not that memorable, and that's something that I would like uh, to see different in the next Horizon game, which is Horizon Forbidden West, which is going to come out next year. Um, I would like to have like some awesome, interesting side characters, which are part of the new world. Um, but yeah. The gameplay is phenomenal. Like, there's so many things that you can upgrade. Um, so many weapons that are they're all super awesome, and that that's something that I enjoyed. Is like every machine has their own weaknesses that you have to, you know, kind of tap into to take them down, and that that's one of the most fun parts of the game. 
So you get like the you, you get like weapons that are specialized against like fire machines, and then like there's ice machines, lightning machines, and their designs are all super awesome. Like they're all shaped after like animals and dinosaurs and stuff like that. And it's just super fun to just take them down. And also like in the beginning of the game, when you're you kind of just like walking around and you see like this super huge monster, which is like super like out of your league. Like you have to actually um, improve yourself and like before taking these these machines, otherwise you're pretty much going to die. Uh, that, that's something that I enjoyed a lot. And um, yeah, basically the machine design is great. Also the uh, some of the ruins too, like the cauldrons are super awesome to explore. And uh, that's one of the things that I enjoyed also the most about Horizon Zero Dawn. And the game is super photogenic. Like there's so many awesome things that you can photograph. Um, so right now I'm kind of like showing all the, these are all screenshots that I took in the game. Um, I, I'm super, I, I love take like photography. It's one of my passions and, you know, kind of just going into this game and seeing all these, all the scenery inspired me to, you know, think about how also like how video games are getting so real that fo photographing in a video game is all, it's like, it's kind of like, it feels kind of like real life in a way. And that's something I really appreciated about Horizon Zero Dawn. Made me realize like how video games can be art, and also they can be worlds, worlds that you, that are feel as real as you know real life. So overall, I think the game is amazing. Um, it's such a work of art that I I enjoyed uh, my whole journey playing this game, and I can't wait for the sequel next year. I thought I think it's a, it's going to be a great sequel. Um, you know, kind of exploring jungles and stuff. So. I can't wait for that. And I think that's everything for today. Um, I'm going to give Horizon Zero Dawn a 92 out of 100. I think it's awesome. Uh, one of the best games I've played. And just overall, a fantastic uh, work of art. So good job, Guerrilla Games. Um, I hope you keep on continuing the story of Aloy in like, a lot of interesting ways in the next game. So anyways, thanks for watching. That'd be all for today. See ya.